Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Super Mario RPG. My name is B-Knight and this is part 8. So in the last part we rescued Princess Peach, we fought off a cake and now we're ready to continue. So let's go, shall we? I think I need to go to Tapu Pond for this. Yeah, for the next part. Yeah, I have to talk to Frank Fuchsius. Let's go talk to him, shall we? I have the latest news, children. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. Okay, so we gotta go Star Hill. Where's that, you ask? That's the next area where we go. And by the way, during this recording, I hope you guys don't hear the fan that I have in the background, which is my air conditioning, but I'm putting on the fan so it's not too loud. Because it's super hot in here. Yep, Star Hill. Let's go. I don't know what else is I recorded. So before we move on, we gotta switch up party members. I like Peach, but honestly, we need stronger party members right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep Bowser. I'll keep Gino for now. Mallow will be useful a little later, and I'll use Peach a little more as well. But right now, I like to keep this. To marry more, talk, talk to the flower, and the Stargate will open. To Star Hill. Alright, so talk to this, open the key, and door, and let's go. <clears throat> this is Star Hill. Wishes, which were transformed at the Star Road, fall from here. But... Some wishes haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. Frog Fuchsius mentioned hearing about a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded, so... Maybe I'll lose some of the voices. Wish I had some cricket jam. Okay, that's Frog Fuchsius' dream. If you look at the happy face stars, you'll see, you'll hear people's dreams. Let's see what they have to say. I hope my baby's cute. Okay, I don't know who's pregnant. Can't wait to start a family. Okay. I wish I weren't such a private. Oh, that's Mellow! This one's private! Who do you think you are spying on other people's wishes? Come on, our quest for the star piece is important. Everyone's counting on us. We gotta hurry. I mean, that's a point. Sorry about that. I'm just that. It's just that I'm embarrassed about my wish. Hey, man, I feel you, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay, now we can go through the door. Well, let's go. I'll see if I could skip some fights just to make this a little faster. If I could just get that melody. Okay, that's Totovsky. The hunger. Oh, for some food! Okay, that's Balome, obviously. I want to be a full class baker. Okay, that's Chef Tort. Okay, that's Sotovsky. And as you're spinning around, keep on lookout for a star, for the, a star piece, because there's one around here. Please let Malo find his way home. Why, this wishes... It's from my mom and dad. They're wishing for me to come home. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't a time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario. We've got a busy schedule to keep. I'll make you eat dust if you don't hurry. That's the spirit, Mario. I mean, my little derp. <laughs> I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world. Okay, that's the dude from Rose, from Rose Town, who had the treasure chest. I don't know his name, but the treasure hunter toad. I think this one has stuck. In this looks like a house. Nope, ain't getting me. I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. Hey, that's Luigi. Wish I could run faster. Cause that's Yoshi. I hope I become famous. I don't know who that is. And right here's a star piece. Thank you. 
four pieces down, three to go. You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more start pieces. I would say at this point in the game, you're basically halfway done with the game. So one half down, one half to go. Alright, let's go to Seaside Town. Okay, we all know this music by now. It's the stuff's going down music. Let's go to the shops, though. Oh, these look funky. Um, just a customer. Don't tell me you want supplies. I know. Okay. Bad mushroom, muku cookie, fried bomb, fire, fire bomb, ice bombs. Okay, these two bombs are really good, but we're not going to need them yet. Those are overly priced. Thank you very much. In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. You'll find a... I mean, there's a... A pirate lives there. His name is Jonathan Jones. He isn't very nice. I'm sorry, I'm going to get the pirate properly. Oh, there's no I thought he was going to say the same thing. I mean that man, uh, Jonathan Jones, probably has it. He's nasty. Okay, so they're gonna give me anything. Let me double check, though. You're collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. How do you know that? Good question. <laughs> if you want to enter the ocean, jump into the whirlpools. You'll find the village elder in his house. He is the most respected person here. They keep spinning and spinning. Okay, these guys are interesting, to say the least. I'm gonna see this. Pardon me. <clears throat> Finally! It took you long enough. I am the elder of this village. I got to my exalted position in life by pleasing my superiors which is something I do well. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me, comrade. There's a reason why I'm giving him a Russian voice. All right, well, let's do what he says. So now we go to the ocean, which leads to, I guess you could say, the dungeon of this area. The pirate ship. Ooh, spooky. Been a while since people come around here. You're not a shady character or anything, right? Whoa, this stuff is expensive. I know I have more cash than this. Hurley glove, that's for Bowser. We have the super hammer, we have the handgun for Gino. Womp gloves for Gino, which we might use. Wait, no, that's Mallow. Or is that for Peach? Yeah. The Hurley glove's a funny weapon, but it's really good. Oh, it has the wonk glove. Sweet. We gotta buy the sailors, the sailor outfits. Sailor shirt. Okay, I need to sell stuff. For more defenses, a weapon. So the chomp sold that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have an amulet. I'll sell some stuff. I'll figure it out. Nautica. Okay, I'm gonna need the Nautica dress as well. Do -do -do -do. Perfect. I can also buy uh, a Nautica dress for Peach, or Toadstool as she's called in this game. My apologies. <laughs> And I'll give her, uh... Well, I mean, this is a good weapon. It smells terrible, apparently. I'll give her the, um... Amulet. Which one's the one that avoids, um... Mushroom or Scarecrows, wake up. 
The one that prevents from being shook. Fearless. There you go. Yeah, we need three fearless pins for this. For one of the bosses up ahead. Okay, cool. We're good. Since you shopped here, I'll tell you something interesting. The ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went in to survey it, but they never came back. Oh, my. oh yeah, actually, I do need I do need some coins actually. So the polka dress. No, I need I need the true form pins. Hmm, zoom just could be good. But I'll sell them. I don't really need them. Don't really care for auto pins. Make up pin could be useful. All right, you know I don't have any money. Screw it. I uh, think you drop it again. Save point. We're by the sea. This is more of a sea cavern, but okay. Oh, th this is gonna be nice. Check this out. Oh, I almost got that one. Alright, let's see. What are we leveling up today? Three. Let's go with magic attack. He needs it. Mallow goes for eight. Yeah, give him magic. He needs it. I'll just Mal, Mal and Mario leveled up. That's cool. Okay, don't even need it. Flower and frog coin. Very nice. Okay, so this is going to be, our, I guess, our water level. Let's go. Dun, dun. Okay, that's a reverse whirlpool. Max Mushroom. Oh, that's basically a max potion. And now we're in the ocean, so watch out for the bloopers. Jump up here. Up here as well, and down we go. This is pretty cool, actually. There's a passage from the travel log. Let's take a look. We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. This ship's going down fast. Okay. There's a page from the travel log. Let's take a look. We managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. I love this area. It's pretty cool. One of my favorite, like, dungeon areas. Besides maybe Booster's Tower. I remember I got stuck here a lot as a kid. Actually, hold on. So maybe that's the door. That's just a window. There's a lot of spooky enemies here. Let's take a look. The door to the cellar is locked with a password consisting of six letters. In order to proceed, you have to decipher the password using the six hints. Which I already know the answer, obviously. Ooh, we got a fight. Crystal. Yeah, it just hurt a lot. Press it when he takes out his wand, if I haven't said that already. Right before he swings. And this one, when he throws. When he has Mario on top of him, you press A and you'll do the double. And you'll do a time hit. Hmm. Hey, she leveled up. That's a lot of HP. We're going to give her that. Dry bones. There's a page from Travel Law. Let's take a look. Uncover the secret of the six hints. Of course, since they're provided by different people, they'll be pretty tough to solve. Maybe impossible. Oh, that's a uh, interesting monster there. Lightning orb. Good thing I bought him extra armor. Oh, Gina's gonna be hit a lot. I'm, pro I'm a bit under level, but that's kind of intended. Ha ha! He's dead. Okay, um. I'm gonna see if I can do this without reviving him. 
Well, I'll take care of the, the Reaper ghosts first. The Reaper, as they're called. Ghost Reaper, maybe? Oh, Elegy. I think this is a mute? Or a silence? Alright, that's fine. Bowser's magic sucks anyway. That's gonna hurt. Kind of. Um, okay. Lucky, alright. Oops. Okay, I think we need to revive somebody. Let's revive Mario. Nice. Oh, what the? No, no, I was ready for that. Okay, let's try this again. Yep. You ain't fooling me this time. We need to use magic against him. He's, he's a tank. Okay, I mistimed it. I think he's weak to fire, I want to say? Let's find out. Kind of? Oh, show up his attack. It's really bad. You have to rotate the, the directional pad. Yeah, that worked, I guess. He could be weak to fire, but he seemed pretty resistant to it. Alright, let's see if we can win this. Middle. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit underleveled here. Uh, okay, watch out for these rats. Get some coins. So normally I have to fight these guys, but if you stick to the wall, you can avoid them. I'll see if I can do most of these. So each room has a puzzle, which gives you a clue. I'm going to do all of them except for one. And for those of you guys who know this game, you know which one I'm going to skip. I know the answer, but I'm going to show it off. I'm going to skip one because that's going to take way too damn long. Sorry, pardon my language. It's going to take way too long. Heal and a clue. A memo left by Magellan. There is an S in the word. Yes, there is. And if you don't, if you're not careful when you come out, yeah, you're gonna get hit. Uh oh, I might die here. Okay. Yeah, get the get the creepers first. Yeah, I always get confused when they attack. Oh, Bowser can tank, my boy. We're gonna be saving pickup Gino here. Okay, for a name called Deathsicle, that wasn't exactly very strong. Nice. Let's try jumping on, on the Reacher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh yeah, jump destroys this guy. So that's what we gotta do. Okay. Got another pick for our troubles. Gino leveled up. Yeah, you need you need attack damage. I think this is the one I'm gonna skip. No, this one's good. Okay. Uh, and this one needs to be a little closer. Yeah, that might do it. Not too far. Okay. So the first one needs to be a little further out. And then this one needs to be closer. Yeah, that should do it. One, two, three, boom. I'm gonna live by Magellan. It is found on the bed of the ocean. That's kind of true. So you want to line up these um springs so that way the cannonball bounces hits that thing like a basketball. Yeah. And for this one, you gotta the I forgot to mention the 
Paratrooper will follow you, so you gotta make it so that way it knocks the cannonball in onto the switch here. Like so. Yeah, this is the one we're gonna skip. This one takes forever. It's a 3D maze. This is a pain in the butt. We're gonna ignore it. This is gonna take way too long to figure out. That thing has coins, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this. Dry bones. Oh, Jesus! Okay. We're gonna do things a little differently here. We're gonna get rid of the Reacher by giving a Yoshi cookie, which I think it's a one-hit kill on regular enemies. So let's get the big out of the way and he gives us an item as a result. The game pick. I might have to heal. Let's heal up Bowser. Now the thing about Dry Bones is they're invulnerable except to magic. Any magic will destroy them. Yeah, any magic is a one-hit kill. The Greepers, though, on the other hand, are a different story. Mario's dead. Straight up. We'll leave, we'll leave him down. That's a miss. And it's funny when Mario's dead or he has a status condition, Bowser will just throw, will throw like a Mario doll. Pretty cool. Nice. And he gets back up just like that. Bowser is level 10. No. More strength. Okay, before... And the thing is, just like in the regular games, dry bones get back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out um, Bowser with, Pe to with Peach and use and use her healing because her healing is really efficient. Yeah, look at that. That's 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 wonderful. Uh, I'll keep Bowser because he's pretty tanky. And we gotta hurry because this thing has a lot of coins. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually not going to waste the Yoshi cookie on the Reaper. Well, let's double jump instead. I mean, super jump on the Reacher. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Boom! And terrorize to get the dry bones out of the way. I'm aware. That's a miss. He's out of here. Nice. Good XP, actually. Ah, we got most of the coins. Who cares? Hey, it's good to see you. Okay, he just sells you the same stuff. We got a lot more stuff, though. That's cool. I do need to check if I have mid mushrooms. I have five. I'm gonna buy two more. There's a reason for this. We don't need able juice or anything. All right, good. We're good. I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do with the C. Even if you don't get through all six of the obstacles, you can try to deduce your way through. Good luck. Don't worry, bro. I already know the answer. 
Okay, this one just follow the coins. Do not get the last one, even though you can chase it down. Just get the coins that it leaves as a trail, and then when the when that floating coin stops, you finally collect it. Oh shit! Oh crud! Oh snap! All right, let's try this again. I messed up there. There's some metricness to this game. Sometimes it gets to me. I like the concept, but it could be kind of weird to work with. There you go. Memo left by Dagama. It has four consonants. It does. Okay. Okay, this is basically, um, you have to do, uh, well, just, just like. Oops. Okay, I have to reset the room. Because I done goofed. Uh -huh. Ah, dang it, I messed up. Let's try again. Gotcha. Mushroom, which is okay. Memo led by Van Doren. At least two consonants are side by side. That is true, actually. Yeah, you can skip that one. And there's another puzzle room. See, if you look at this sparrow, it's a little oddly colored. Just jump in a couple times. So it rolls. Full heal. Memo Levi Van Doren. The R be comes before the L. It does. Let's save, then I'm gonna do one boss fight, then we're gonna end the we're gonna end the part. So the note says. Once you come up with the key letter speaking here. Okay, I already know the answer. So key letter one, it's gonna be P. Key letter two is gonna be E. A, that's right. Four is gonna be R. Key letter five is gonna be L. And key letter six will be S. The answer is Mario's password is Pearls. Good job. I'll let you through if you can get past me first, that is. Okay. As you can tell by the tentacle, we're gonna fight a squid boss. So for this, I need to make sure everyone's equipped with a fearless pin. I need Martyr for this fight. Gino's not bad in this fight. Bowser's pretty good too, especially if you don't get feared. Okay, we're all set. Let's go. And this thing's weak to fire, so keep that in mind. Do you have Geno Boost? Yeah, we're gonna Geno Boost everyone. There's actually a, a... When you see the last arrow going up, you press Y, and if you get the Thunder Sound, that means you got the... the... the, uh, time hit on it, which, it, this, uh, Geno Boost only increases the attack, but if you do the time hit, it also increases defense. I know the main boss is actually weak to fire, but I wanna know the tentacles are, too. I... I don't think so? They're just about. Alright, Gino, you're on support duty for now. And we temporarily lose a party member, but they'll come back. Wait, I have the fearless pin! What gives? It shouldn't be feared. Aw, uh, the accessory doesn't work. That's why I bought three of them for this specific fight. Because the tentacles, when they rise you up like that, when you come down, you get feared. You get the fear status. Okay, well, oh no, no, you still need to boost Mario. Lame. Should have bought some freshen ups then. Okay, well, I didn't know. But now uh, you know. Buy some freshen ups or able juice. I think I may have some in my inventory. We'll see right now.
Because in theory, I have fearless pins. They shouldn't be shook like that. Then you move up. Do I have some in my inventory? I don't. Okay, that's fine. We'll make do. Everyone's boosted, so let's Gino Beam here. Okay, that doesn't do much. So much for theory crafting, I guess. <laughs> Oh, at least Bowser is like a truck, so that's good. That might be a miss. Oh no, I just mistimed it. Alright, we're doing good on the HP department. Yeah, Bowser's like a truck, which I'm glad. That's why Bowser's really good. If he doesn't get feared, he is a monster. Has to be expected. He is a brute after all. Especially in Smash. Holy crap. He hits hard in Smash. Yep, that's the main boss. Drain Beam. Okay, we need to get the main tentacles first. Anyway, Gino's in Shug, but I think this guy has Sandstorm, which will shake everyone. We'll make them fear. We'll scare them. Anyway, the tentacles don't regenerate. This is gonna hurt a bit. I think Gino might die. No, he can take a hit. He's almost dead though. Mario shook, so I'm gonna go ahead and, he and use Mario for healing. Actually, no, I'm gonna use Mario for attacking. If only I had Super Fire. This thing should be weak to fire, I believe. Oh wow, that was terrible. Okay. Clearly, I was wrong. Venom Drool. He's already shook. You can't have more than two. You cannot have two status effects at once. Wait. I'm wondering. Hmm. I have a theory. Okay, so. When you're when you're feared, it also affects magic attack. Your magic stat. Okay, I actually didn't know that. I thought it was um just your physical stat. That's good to know. Try super jumping this fool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, that. Does a ton of damage. More than Bowser, even. Alright, just keep on the offensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Oh, that was nice. Hopefully this finishes the job. Alright. We're almost done here. Let's do a regular jump here. Yes! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hmm. No flame orb yet? Oh, I can't really use it. Look at some life. Now levels up as well. Oh, I wanted I was hoping he learned shocker. 
Not yet. Not yet. Soon, I hope. Is it what's up ahead? Ah! Okay, so we're actually gonna end the part here. Um, next part we're gonna finish up the sunken ship and maybe fight uh, two more bosses. Um, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. Mm -hmm.